Good morning, Team Alabama. We are ready for another Achieve 3000. I would like for you to go to from Sonatas to Space Shuttles. From Sonatas to Space Shuttles. And we're going to read this together at a 1280 Lexile level, and then you will read it at your Lexile level and answer your activity questions. Please complete your before reading poll at this time. And we are going to take a look at the vocabulary. Assiduous. Assiduous means showing great care, attention, and effort. Mellifluous, having a smooth and flowing sound. Okay, read along with me, please. Stretch article. If you were spending a week in space and could only bring a few personal items or belongings with you, what would you choose? For the first mission on a NASA space shuttle, Dr. Ellen Ochoa wasn't leaving Earth without her flute. Growing up in California, Dr. Ochoa excelled at playing the flute and went to college to study classical music, but she couldn't shake her fascination with math that had started with a high school calculus class. So she decided to pursue a degree in physics instead. Later, as a graduate student at Stanford University, her cutting edge research and inventions placed her well on the way to becoming a pioneer in optical engineering. That is until a fellow Stanford science graduate, Dr. Sally Ride, became the first American woman to go into space aboard a shiny new NASA space shuttle in 1983. Suddenly, Dr. Ochoa's horizons totally changed. Seeing a female astronaut with such a similar background to hers was a wow moment for Dr. Ochoa. She realized that maybe she could do research in space too. Setting her sights beyond her laboratories on planet Earth, she eagerly applied to NASA's Space Shuttle Astronaut Program, but didn't get in. Dr. Ochoa didn't see this rejection as an impasse, as she told the National Air and Space Museum in an interview years later. Some people have described it as, I failed. I didn't really view it that way. I tried to turn it into, what is it that I could do that would make me a better candidate? So she spent the next few years gaining new skills and including getting a pilot's license and working as an engineer at NASA. She hoped these experiences might boost her chances for success the next time she applied to the astronaut program and she was right. Dr. Ochoa's extra effort launched her application to the top, and in 1990, she was accepted into NASA's astronaut program. After three years of training, she finally flew on her first mission aboard NASA's space shuttle in 1993 as the world's first Hispanic female astronaut. As her unique laboratory zoomed around the Earth nearly 200 miles above the clouds, Dr. Ochoa monitored the planet's ozone layer with high-tech optical devices, a perfect match for her proficiencies. Nine years later, on her fourth and final mission, Dr. Ochoa operated the Atlantis Space Shuttle's robotic arm from inside the cabin while crew members attached a gigantic beam to the International Space Station to prepare the station for future expansion. By the end of the final space flight in 2002, this assiduous astronaut had logged nearly 1,000 hours in orbit altogether. Finding only 15 minutes of time to play her beloved flute on one mission, she began a brief recital that turned into a funny impromptu physics lesson in the shuttle's weightless environment. Dr. Ochoa got a little carried away during this cosmic concert, literally, because every breath she blew through the flute pushed her backwards and she had to hook her feet to the floor to keep from floating off with each mellifluous measure. Jovial moments aside, Dr. Ochoa 
never lost focus of her job in orbit, where she and the crew dedicated themselves to work together for a communal purpose. The cohesive teamwork that she experienced in space inspired her decision to support and later lead crewed missions from the ground, eventually becoming a director of NASA's Johnson Space Center, the first Hispanic person to ever serve in this role. A trailblazer and a role model, doc, role model, Dr. Achua says she feels honored to have six schools named after her and enjoys talking to students about her out of this world career. She tells them that being motivated is the key to success. Teamwork is very important and they should never stop learning. In 2015, she received NASA's highest award, the Distinguished Service Medal, and two years later, she was inducted into the Astronaut Hall of Fame. Since retiring from NASA in 2018, she has kept busy as the Vice Chair of the National Science Board, but she still finds time to play her flute. Have a great rest of the day, Team Alabama.